Hello there, and welcome to Endeavor Solutions Business Central Information Mini-Series on the three pillars of how Microsoft Business Central can create operational excellence within your organization. This series will be divided into three sections, highlighting examples of the unified platform, design for financial resilience, and cloud security. So, on the benefits of a unified platform, Marvin, can you please showcase how to make a sales quote on Business Central? What I'm going to do is I'm going to go hover over top of my contact insights. So my contact insights allows me to basically embed Business Central into Outlook. Okay, so when I click on contact insights up here in the top right or left corner, what you're going to see is our first glimpse of Business Central being incorporated into this, you know, the Microsoft stack. So we've got Outlook and Business Central working together. Now, one of the things you're seeing is I've got a Datum Corp. It recognized my contact, Carlos belongs to a datum corp that's why it's brought a datum corp up to surface here i'm now going to move over my posted sales shipments i don't have any balance on this customer but maybe i want to know a little bit more information about this customer and their buying habits in the past so i'm going to look at my postage sales shipments here so from this, I'm getting a listing of those 24 posted sales shipments from the past. I can easily click on any one of these and drill right back into it. So I've got this shipment number 2215. So from here, I've got this visibility. So I'm still in Outlook, remember that. I've got this visibility into a previous order or previous shipments that I've sent out to this customer. And I can see that they've bought, you know, like uh, different desks, chairs, stuff like that. So this order actually makes sense what they're buying. Okay, so I'm just going to click back here for a second. Now, from this, we talked about the, you know, I want to create a quote. So Carlos is actually looking for a quote for these products. So I'm going to go over here, and I'm going to click on the ellipse of the three dots over in the top corner here. And I can click on sales quote. So once again, please note, I am not in Business Central right now. I'm still working out of my Outlook. So user adaptability and user adaption to this very quick because people are using Outlook all the time. So let me click on sales quote here. Before it's going to start up a sales quote, this is where we've got a little bit of that analytics of that in, uh, intelligence coming in from the system. So right now it said, you know what? I see this order from Carlos. I've already identified Carlos as from a datum corp. But even more so, I see that he is looking for some swivel chairs and some and for a conference table. So my suggested line items have actually taken a look at this email, pulled in the information, and made a recommendation for me. So from this, I can see, yep, it's actually parsed out the information, said seven is the quantity, two is the quantity, and these are the products that I believe that you want. So I don't even have to go searching for those items. It's made that recommendation. I'm going to click on these now, and easily enough, what I can do here is go and click on OK, and it's created a sales quote. Well, thanks, Marvin. What a great overview on generating a sales quote within Business Central. Well, for our next episode on BI attributes, or to find out how you can reach operational excellence with Endeavor and Business Central, visit endeavorsolutions.ca slash resilience. Well, we'll see you there. Mm -hmm.